All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to derive the formula for the derivative of ln of x, but without using that constant of inverse functions, because I'm a big fan of direct methods. So let's do that. Well, what's the derivative of ln of x? Right, by definition, the definition of the derivative is limit h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So it becomes ln of x plus h minus ln of x over h. But now there's this nice property of ln that ln of a minus ln of b is ln of a over b. So this becomes limit h goes to 0 of, so ln of x plus h over x, all this divided by h, and that's limit h goes to 0 of ln of, so x plus h over x, that's the same as x over x, plus h over x. So this becomes ln of, if you want, 1 plus, so maybe let me write that in. So x over x plus h over x over h. And that becomes limit h goes to 0 of ln of 1 plus h over x. All this divided by h. But it turns out we can simplify this a little bit more. So let's limit h goes to 0 of 1 over h ln of 1 plus h over x. And remember this other rule of ln. So ln of a to the r is r ln of a. So in other words, this 1 over h becomes an exponent to ln. And you're left with limit h goes to 0 ln of 1 plus h over x to the 1 over h. Okay. And it turns out this thing looks very familiar. It almost looks like, you know, limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power. And the only thing we still need to do is maybe raise this to the x. You'll see this in a second why this is useful. So this becomes limit h goes to 0 of ln of, so 1 plus h over x to the x over h. Better, wait, oh, there is my marker, sorry. I'm confused for a second. So x over h. To get rid of that x, you have to exponentiate by 1 over x. So it's crazy. It's like a triple exponentiation. And then precisely this 1 over x drops out. So it's limit h goes to 0 of 1 over x. times ln of, so 1 plus h over x to the x over h. And here's the nice thing, this 1 over x doesn't depend on h, and moreover, ln is continuous, so provided this is non-zero, which we'll see it is, we can just pull in the limit inside the ln, so it's 1 over x, ln of limit, h goes to 0, of 1 plus h over x to the x over h. Okay, and here comes the important thing. So, this x is positive. It's very important, you know, x is positive because uh, it's in the domain of ln, so in particular, because x is a fixed number, h over x, as h goes to 0, 
again, this is a positive number, it's basically non-zero, fixed number, as h goes to zero, this still goes to zero. So essentially what this limit becomes, it's one over x, ln of limit of, let's call it h squiggle, goes to zero of one plus h squiggle to the, so x plus h is a reciprocal of h over x. So it's one over h squiggle. Or another way of writing this, so a, remember h squiggle is uh, h over x. Or alternatively, instead of saying h squiggle goes to zero, just say one over h squiggle goes to infinity. I guess minus infinity, but it's the same thing. So this becomes essentially 1 over x ln of limit, let's call it, I don't know, h bar, goes to plus or minus infinity of 1 plus 1 over h bar to the 1 over h, over h bar. where I get h bar, that's 1 over h squared. This limit is a very famous limit. In fact, limit, if you remember, maybe from uh, pre-calculus or something, 1 over 1 to the n to the n, as n goes to infinity, it actually converges to e. And therefore, what this becomes, this limit, just becomes E. So we get 1 over x ln of E, but ln of E by definition that's 1, so in the end we get that the derivative of ln is 1 over x. Now, you might, you know, um, <laughs> object, okay, because technically, yes, it is true that in order to uh, prove that limit is E, um, we have to use the ln trick and l'hopital and then use the fact that the derivative of ln is 1 over x, but uh, maybe, so, but I think I'm sure that there's some, uh, other independent way of doing this, maybe by expanding out that polynomial as a binomial expansion. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about the details, but um, I have a good hunch that this might be done. Uh, if h is negative, then uh, negative h, for example, goes to infinity, and then I think you still have e as a limit. All right, so in fact, the nice thing is we've shown that the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, just using the definition of the derivative, which I think it's a nice and uh, the more direct method of showing that this is true. All right, so if you like that and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.